Welcome to the bountiful waters surrounding the British Isles, home to an incredible variety of delicious seafood. We'll embark on an extensive journey through the rich diversity of edible fish, shellfish and crustaceans that these seas have to offer. Get ready to discover the treasures that lie beneath the waves. Our exploration begins with edible fish, which we can divide into three main categories, white fish, oily fish and other unique species. Each category offers its own distinct flavours, textures and culinary applications. Let's start with white fish, known for their mild flavour and flaky texture. These fish are incredibly versatile in the kitchen and are staples in many classic British dishes. First up is cod, a beloved fish that's been a cornerstone of British cuisine for centuries. With its large, tender flakes and mild taste, it's perfect for fish and chips or a hearty fish pie. Haddock, another popular choice, has a slightly sweeter flavour than cod and is often smoked, adding a delicious depth to its taste. Place, with its distinctive orange spots, has a delicate flavour and is excellent when simply grilled or pan-fried. Soli, particularly Dover sole, is considered a delicacy. Its sweet, mild flesh is perfect for classic dishes like sole munier. Turbot and brill, both flatfish, are prized for their firm, white flesh and subtle flavour. They're often considered some of the finest fish in the sea. Pollock and whiting are excellent alternatives to cod and haddock, offering similar textures and flavours at a more affordable price point. Hake, with its medium firm texture and mild taste, is becoming increasingly popular in British kitchens. Ling, a member of the cod family, has a firmer texture and is often used in traditional dishes like fish cakes or pies. Dab and flounder, two more flatfish species, offer delicate flavours and are perfect for simple preparations that let their natural taste shine. Gurnard, once considered a trash fish, is now appreciated for its firm, lean meat and is excellent in soups and stews. John Dory, with its distinctive appearance and sweet white flesh, is a favourite among chefs for its versatility. Finally, we have Megrim, another flat fish that's gaining popularity. Its sweet, delicate flavour is similar to sole but often at a lower price point. Now let's move on to oily fish. These species are not only delicious, but also packed with healthy omega-3 fatty acids, making them an excellent choice for health-conscious consumers. Mackerel is abundant in British waters and is known for its rich, strong flavour. It's delicious when grilled or smoked and is an excellent source of vitamin D. Herring has been a crucial part of British cuisine for centuries. Whether eaten fresh, pickled as roll mops or smoked as kippers, it's a versatile and flavourful fish. Sardines, also known as pilchards when they're larger, are small, oily fish that are delicious grilled or barbecued. They're also commonly canned and make for a nutritious, convenient meal. Sea bass, with its silver skin and white flesh, has a delicate flavour that's enhanced by simple cooking methods like grilling or baking. Salmon, while often farmed, can also be found wild in British waters. Known for its pink flesh and rich flavour, it's a favourite in many households and restaurants alike. Our seas are also home to some unique fish species that don't fit neatly into the white or oily categories. Monkfish, with its firm texture and mild sweet flavour, is often called the poor man's lobster. Its tail meat is particularly prized in culinary circles. Ray and skate, with their distinctive wing-like appearance, offer a unique texture and mild flavour. The wings are the edible part and are often served with a brown butter sauce. Halibut, the largest of all flatfish, has a firm texture and mild sweet flavour. It's excellent when grilled or poached. Red mullet, despite its name, is not related to grey mullet. It has a distinctive flavour that's often described as nutty or shellfish-like. Grey mullet, on the other hand, is a coastal fish with a mild flavour that's enhanced by marinades or strong seasonings. Black sea bream, with its sweet white flesh, is excellent when grilled whole or filleted and pan-fried. Last but certainly not least, we have crustaceans. These shellfish are often considered the jewels of the sea, prized for their sweet, succulent meat. Lobster, from British waters, 
particularly from Scotland and Cornwall, is considered some of the best in the world. Its sweet, tender meat is a true luxury. Brown crab, also known as edible crab, is the most common crab species in British waters. Its white meat is sweet and delicate, while the brown meat is richer and more flavourful. Spider crab, with its long legs and sweet meat, is less well known but equally delicious. It's often considered a sustainable alternative to other crab species. Velvet swimming crab, smaller than brown crab, has sweet, delicate meat and is often used in bisques and soups. Langoustines, also known as Dublin Bay prawns or scampi, are small lobster-like crustaceans with sweet, succulent meat. They're delicious, simply grilled or added to pasta dishes. Prawns and shrimps, while often used interchangeably, can refer to different species. Cold water prawns from British waters are small and sweet, excellent in salads or sandwiches. From the depths of the North Sea to the coastal waters of Cornwall, the seas around the British Isles offer a veritable feast of seafood. This incredible diversity is not just a culinary treasure, but also an important part of Britain's maritime heritage and economy. It's worth noting that while this abundance is impressive, it's crucial to consume seafood responsibly. Many of these species are subject to fishing quotas and regulations to ensure their populations remain stable. By choosing sustainably sourced seafood, we can help preserve this incredible diversity for future generations. Whether you're a seafood enthusiast or just beginning to explore the culinary delights of the sea, the waters around the British Isles have something to offer everyone. From the humble cockle to the majestic lobster, each species brings its own unique flavour and texture to the table. So next time you're enjoying a seafood meal, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey it's made from the sea to your plate. It's not just food, it's a taste of Britain's rich maritime heritage, a product of our island nation's deep connection to the surrounding seas. Remember, the key to enjoying seafood is freshness and proper preparation. Whether you're cooking at home or dining out, don't be afraid to ask where your seafood comes from and how it was caught. This not only ensures you're getting the best quality, but also supports sustainable fishing practices. As we conclude our journey through the edible treasures of British waters, we hope you've gained a new appreciation for the incredible diversity of seafood available. From whitefish to crustaceans, each species plays a unique role in our culinary landscape and marine ecosystem. So why not make your next meal a celebration of British seafood? Whether it's a classic fish and chips, a plate of fresh oysters, or a luxurious lobster, you'll be tasting the very best that our waters have to offer. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your favourite seafood from British waters? Drop a comment below and let us know. Is it the classic cod? the luxurious lobster, or perhaps something more unusual like Gurnard or Welks. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into British seafood, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that like, and don't forget to ring that bell icon to stay notified of our latest uploads. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of British seafood. As always, until next time, stay curious.